Hello, my name is Bojan Krosnov. I'm the chief of product at Storepool. This is our technical demo video. Storepool is software for distributed storage. It uses standard servers, internal drives, and a standard network and provides shared block storage without the SAN. It utilizes minimal resources from each server and aggregates the capacity and performance of all drives into a common storage pool. Storepool servers manage local drives in each physical server and form a cluster through the network. Storepool clients talk to servers in parallel because different parts of data are stored on different servers. This is a Storepool cluster with 10 servers on a 10 gigi network. The names of servers are 4 through 14. The window on the left is a console of server number 4. We will use this window to issue various comments and monitor the state of Storepool. In the windows on the right, we will be watching the block devices of three of the servers. This cluster is equipped with 71 hard drives and 20 SSDs for a total of 91 drives. Volumes are virtual storage units in Storepool and can be attached to one or more nodes in the cluster. There are no volumes currently, so let's create some. We will create three volumes with the names 4, 5 and 6. Volume number 4 will be 1 terabyte in size and will have three copies. Volume number 5 will be 1 terabyte also and will have three copies. And volume 6 will be 500 gigabytes and will also have three copies. To be able to use the volumes, we need to attach them to a client. We will attach volume 4 to client number 4 and do the same with 5 and 6. Notice how volumes appear on the servers on the right. Now let's resize volume 6 to 1 terabyte and notice how the size of the block device updates immediately on server 6. Now let's make a few file systems. We will make an XFS file system on volumes 4 and 5. We will make a next 4 file system on volume 6. We will also mount the volumes on storage clients 4, 5 and 6. Afterwards, we will have a look at how much space we have in each of the file systems. We will also have a look at how much space the volumes actually take. Volumes are thinly provisioned in Storepool by default, so they don't take any space until you start putting some data on them. We will create three 1GB files, one for each file system. The total write throughput in the simple test is approximately 1300 megabytes per second. We will have a more thorough look on performance in a separate video. Snapshots are consistent point-in-time read-only images of volumes. They can be used for various purposes, for example for backup or for virtual machine templates. Similarly to volumes, snapshots can be attached on multiple servers and snapshots are also thinly provisioned. In our example, we created the file, then created a snapshot for backup, then deleted the file. We attach the snapshot on server 5 and we can see that the deleted file is accessible. What would happen if one of the servers died unexpectedly? The Storepool cluster detects that it is down. We still have access to all volumes as if nothing had happened. This is because we have spare copies of data. We can even attach and mount volume 6 on another client and we have full access to its data. To learn more or request a free trial, please visit our website.